Hi, this is Fred Hodson. I want to show you how easy it is to use the e-signature functionality in Sage Construction Management. Let's get started. What you're looking at here is a project that I uh, currently am working on. And what I want to do is send a subcontract out for e-signature. Any kind of document can be run through the e-signature process with Sage Construction Management. So let's pull up our list of subcontracts. And what I want to do is send out subcontract number five and get it e-signed. So all we need to do is come over here to reports, subcontract details, and then select save PDF to linked files. So once we do that, the system is going to create a PDF version of the subcontract. If I scroll down the page here, you're going to see that there's been a document linked right here. And what we want to do is run it through the e-signature engine. So click Initiate. And what you're going to see here are some options for processing this particular document for e-signature. I'm going to select Sequential. I'm going to have the system send it to the subcontractor, get their signature, and then I'm going to have the project manager countersign this. I'm going to change my email address just for this demonstration. And then um, for this specific example, I don't need a third signature. We're going to delete Justine from this particular thing. Don't tell her. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to click Send. So now the document is being routed through uh, the DocuSign uh, engine. I'm going to change my hat for a minute here. So let's pretend I'm the subcontractor. Uh, I've opened up the subcontractor's email. They've received this document for, uh, within the DocuSign uh, system. Uh, you'll see there's a security code right here that they're going to need to use. And then you can also see right down here uh, that they can see that this is from Bangard Inc. It's a subcontract, so they know it's legitimate. Uh, they're going to put in the access code, and now it's going to open up their copy of the subcontract. As they scroll down the page, they can see the, the subcontract information. This is a very simple subcontract. Yours is uh, most likely more uh, complex than this. There's a great templating tool in Sage Construction Management. Check a look at one of our videos on how to customize those. Gary's just going to scroll down here and put his signature at the bottom of the page. And then he's going to also put the date. And then click Finish. So uh, Gary's signed it. So now let's go back over to the project manager. And you can see that Gary now has uh, the document right here. Uh, he's going to go ahead and sign it too. And so Gary, pardon me, Brett, the project manager, so he can see Gary's signature here. Brett's going to sign it. The project manager is going to put it right there. And Brett's going to put the date right there. Finish. And now Brett's going to go back into Sage Construction Management. And let's just scroll down to the bottom of the screen here. And you're going to see that link document. I'm going to go ahead and refresh it here. And we can see it's green. So that means it's been completed. The signatures can be viewed right here by clicking this. It's going to bring up the secured signed document by both parties. And then there's a really nice additional uh, screen here in Sage Construction Management that lets you review contracts if they're pending, if they've been completed, anything voided. And when we click, I'm just going to refresh the screen here. And you can see that number five has been completed. And if we click Show Signer, we can see that it was signed by Gary, signed by Brett. And why is this one up here um, pending? Let's go look at that. 
oh, it looks like we're waiting on a signature from Justine, so we better get in touch with her. So that concludes this video. Um, hopefully you'll find this helpful um, to use this feature e-signing within Sage Construction Management. Thank you.